Right, to get the World War II field telephone to ring as a doorbell, because it's got AC bells in, it needs a special ring supply. You can't just put batteries in and expect it to ring, because the actual bell mechanism needs 75 volts AC at a particular frequency, which is 25 hertz, which there's nothing commercially off the shelf to do that. So what we've done is built this ring generator, which I'm uh, now going to just put the lid back on temporarily, just to show you how it works. Well, it does turn the power on. We've just got an output to the actual uh, telephone itself. The, uh, although this is a World War II field telephone, it could be any telephone. We've uh, set it up that way. And then what we'll do is we just turn it on and we get press the doorbell. And that gives two rings. So if I press the doorbell again. And that's a UK, what they call a UK cadence, or a UK ring. If I turn it across to American ring, you hear the uh, subtle difference. I'll press again. And that's the, how it rings in America. It's a US ring. But if you put it back onto the UK ring again, so you can do it from the actual instrument itself, or this is just a, a doorbell we've set up. So if I press it one more time, and if I keep my finger pressed on the bell, it'll keep ringing. And that is now ringing our lovely World War II field telephones as a doorbell. So you've got the doorbell, any length of wire to the unit, and then the actual World War II telephone plugged in to this little Bakelite bell box and into the electronic wizardry there. Yep, all good.